So let's talk about making decals at home real quick. I've been asked about it a few times and it's really, really simple uh, provided you have the proper equipment. So the recent uh, Rocket Ship XM project, I did the Moon Patrol decal. And so we'll just go over how that worked out. First thing you need are clear decal sheets. There's a couple different companies that make them, testers. Uh, this one is Expert Choice by Bare Metal Foil, and there's a few other ones out there as well. Uh, the Bare Metal Foil ones are actually come with the instructions clearly printed right on them. So I could actually just show this to you, or take a screen cap, and there you go, that's how you do it. Uh, they come out with ones that are have, um, there's two different kinds. There's one for laser printers, and there's ones for inkjet. And this happens to be a three card pack, but basically it's just a giant, it's like one giant de uh, decal sheet. So, there's some screw up printings there. And uh, so, you have your decal sheet. The next thing you need is obviously your computer. And just go online, find an image of whatever you want to print out. Uh, I wouldn't be too concerned or worried about copyright because you're using it on one-off model. Um, but whatever you find is up to you. You can uh, import it into Photoshop and make adjustments if you want. Uh, or I've even actually just imported it into Word and uh, done adjustments there. Uh, then the next thing you're going to need is a printer. Now I already mentioned this one's for laser, they have other ones for inkjet. Uh, I would highly recommend you stick with laser printing decals. You can do it with an inkjet, uh, but I've never got decent results. Other people have told me they've got de decent results with it. I never have, I think it looks terrible. And there's enough problems with making your own decals at home uh, as it is, so uh, go with the best equipment you can. Laser printers are actually, uh, color laser printers are actually pretty, fairly cheap nowadays. About $150-ish you can get a cheap one. Even less than that, I've seen them for like $100. Uh, of course, I have access to one at work, so don't tell them there. Uh, so... You have your decal sheet and um, all set up on your computer and you just run your decal paper right through your printer. You wanna test it out on some regular paper first to make sure everything's correct uh, and the size is good. And then you run this through. Then you get to step two. You have to seal the paper uh, once it's uh, printed out. And uh, Testers makes their own decal bond, which I've not heard good things about. Uh, micro uh, or bare, bare metal foil, who actually, I believe also makes micro scale, uh, recommends their own leak liquid decal film uh, through an airbrush, which I haven't tried that. Uh, but what also works is just plain old uh, lacquer. So I just spray it with some testers, dull lacquer, a few light coats. That'll help seal the ink down. Now going back to inkjet printers, uh, here's where they start to fail on this because the technology to put the ink on paper is different between laser and inkjet, and the inkjet is very, very delicate, and if you spray this on, uh, it can actually pull the ink back up. So it's another reason I really don't like the inkjets. The quality's not as good, and it's far more delicate. So once you have that done, uh, you can apply it to your model kit, just like a regular decal. It's gonna be much more, uh, more delicate uh, than a store-bought decal or one you get into a uh, get inside a model kit box uh, also it's not going to have any bright backing underneath it obviously you cannot print white uh, and so they can't put white underneath the decal to make sure it shines really well so uh, it doesn't look that good under dark surfaces black or in this case uh, the dark metal uh, it looks a little bit muted actually we can compare it with my screwed up version you can see the color difference here between the two because it's going over a much darker surface. And that's about it actually. Once you apply it, uh, like I said, you apply it like a regular decal, you do it over a glossy surface. Once it's down and dry for about a half hour and an hour, uh, you wanna put a few more layers of gloss over it. I use acrylic gloss for that. So two or three or three or four. Uh, just to you know, seal it down and also to hide the uh, the edge of the decal just like you would with any other ordinary decal. Now, the only other thing I 
can mention, because like I said, this is really easy. That's the whole thing, uh, is especially with big sheets like this, as you cut uh, up the sheet, you want to try to retain the frame because you want to be able to reuse this as possible, if possible. So uh, try not to you know, hack this up too much so it can go back through the printer. Uh, what you can do is uh, take a regular piece of paper like this and just tape it to the decal sheet and then you can run it all through together. Uh, There's another reason why you want to save your uh, file, whatever you're using to uh, print your decals from, because you'll know, I know not to print in these areas here if I still have that same file, so I'll know to move the next one down. And also you want to try, try to leave a little bit more room between the decals, once again, to keep the uh, rigidity of the decal film paper. So there you go, that is it. Fairly simple thing to do. Like I said, the only things you have to worry about is I would really use a laser printer. Black and white works as well as color. Of course, if you want color decals, color printer. Uh, and uh, just spraying, sealing the decal before you apply it. And you'll get some somewhat decent results. Hold up, don't go away. I have an update here. Uh, something I just tried for the first time, which is testers decal paper. Uh, I needed some white backing decal paper and testers was the only thing I could find. And so I wanna do a quick review of this stuff. Uh, so it's a lot smaller, but you get more sheets in this little pack. I think those are like $12, which is a little, eh, it's a little higher end on decal paper. Uh, so this stuff has a white backing because obviously printers cannot print white. So this is white underneath if you need the color white and you print on to this. Uh, tricky thing is this is only for inkjet printers, but they don't print that anywhere on the packaging. They just tell you right on the paper. So you have to buy it to figure out that you can't use it for with laser printers. I actually used it with a laser printer, it worked fine. So. I don't know, but it says in the instructions it's for inkjet only in big letters. Uh, so the quality of this is, compared to the bare metal foil paper, I find this a little... Eh, this doesn't get good reviews, and it's not terrible. Uh, it just definitely works differently. It doesn't have the same flexibility that I'm accustomed to with the bare metal foil decal paper. Uh, part of my issues might be because this has the white coating on it, so that may affect how it plays. Uh, but I used this on my little taxi cab I'm making here, and I really couldn't get it to bend. Uh, and the the odd thing was the adhesion, the glue on the paper, there almost seemed like there was none. So I had a real problem trying to get the decal to stick. Uh, so, but it over it worked okay. I still prefer the bare metal foil paper. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is, if you're a fan of a Microsol, uh, I put Microsol on this paper, and good lord, I thought it was gonna melt off. Um, Microsol says you're supposed to apply this and not touch the decal, which. I've touched it before with other decals. It hasn't been too much of an issue, but once you put this stuff on, it turns it, it melts it into like warm chewing gum. It got all bubbly and freaked me out. I thought the whole decal was gonna wipe away, but it eventually settled down and filled in all the recesses. So if you're using Microsol, apply it, do not touch it, walk away, and then come back to it later and you know make adjustments as needed. So. I give it a rating of meh, but uh, if you're looking for white decal paper, uh, store bought without buying in bulk, I think Testers is probably your only your only bet. So there you go, Testers paper. This is a job for Weenie Man into the Weenie Mobile. Weenie Man away.